What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Anthony from the Knights of Horror. That's Sammy from the Knights of Horror. And if you didn't know where you are by now, it's the Knights of Horror. <laughs> Free time. Just Free in time. case. Just uh, in case you don't know. NOH so three times. The Knights of Horror. Not NOH media, though. Just Knights of Horror. Knights of Horror. Uh, today we're doing a haunt update. We haven't really done much. I think the, I, the only one I made this season was uh, the Terror Tram returning for the 2022 season. Today we're going to be talking about Halloween Horror Nights construction updates. We're going to be talking about Not Scary Farm release dates for the um, park this year. And we're also going to be talking about something that we saw today. Because if you guys don't know, as of this recording today, they're having a um, monster meetup uh, that's just planned by the community called March Madness, which is the halfway point to haunt season. So today we're going to be looking at something that uh, is still up and we're happy that it's returning. But let's start it over in Hollywood, California at Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, we've been getting a lot of construction photos coming in lately. We have uh, two uh, returning locations. Obviously, the Mummy Queue has started uh, construction over there. And we have the returning Haunting of Hill House location, which right now is being speculated to be Nightmare on Elm Street 3, um, amongst other properties. So there's no really confirmation as what it's being, what it's going to be yet, but there's a lot of speculation as to what, uh, as we're seeing, getting stuff built of what it's going to be. Uh, Sammy, Haunting the Hill House return, uh, location returning and uh, Mummy Q going up. What are your speculations as to what can be coming this year? Um, that's a great question, and I don't have an answer because I'm not super deep into the – the rumor mill and what could be coming there. Um, I just know that construction has started. And when I saw the construction had started in that area, the first thing I thought of was, damn, I have to walk back there now. Cause that, that is a mission. I thought that the back lot was a mission, but I take that back. I would much rather go to the back lot and go at least through toxic tunnel at least it's entertaining than having to walk behind all those studios. But uh, I mean, it's cool that you go through Harry Potter. So I guess that's cool. Um, but I, I definitely am excited to see it. I'm hoping that they do uh, like one IP there and one original like they did this previous year. That'll be super enticing. Um, and I'm hoping just for a better maze than Hill House because uh, if you're a fan of the channel, you know that both Tony and I were quite disappointed by Hill House, it was definitely not worth the two and a half hour wait that people were having to go through. Yeah, definitely, and and it's one of those things where um, it's one of those things where like I for sure was like when I walked through it, I was like, okay, there were some scenes that were cool, but wasn't my favorite maze. Um, I expected a lot more from a property so big, and I know Sammy was on the same boat with me because me and him really really were diving deep into that show when it came out um, and really breaking down, you know, Easter eggs and, and hitting ghosts and stuff. So, you know, it, we walked through it having high expectations and walked out with not the best of expectations, but it is what it is. Some things hit well, some things don't, and that's just the, the world of, of Halloween Horror Nights. Either it's going to be really good solid maze or it's going to be a, a, an okay maze, it's going to be a decent maze, or it's just not going to be a good maze. So, uh, every year we go and we just uh, hoping to at least have a good time. And at least every year that we've gone, we we do. I would say we have a good time, whether you know stuff didn't translate well with us or if it did. You know what I mean? No, I, I agree. It's always a good time. I just was wishing it was on the level of the IPs that at least I got to go through in 2019 with us and like Killer Clowns of Outer Space and Ghostbusters. Those were all very good detailed mazes, had good scares, and they were a great time. Whereas Hill House was kind of just underwhelming at best. Um, but, I mean, either way, I'm mean, just excited to see what happens. I'm always excited to see what John made, John Murdy and the rest of the uh, creative team get together and do. Um, especially because when they when they get to reimagine these IP, uh, IPs, it's super sick. And um, I think we're just super grateful and as long as they continue to improve and it's a better year than 2021 was, I think we're both going to be quite happy with the event. Exactly. A hundred percent agree. Looking forward to seeing uh, more stuff in the future for Halloween Horror Nights as far as construction goes, as far as announcements goes. Uh, keep it locked in here. We'll keep you guys up to date as to what's going on. Moving down the, down the freeway to the five freeway. Uh, if anyone is in California, they know that very well. Uh, we're going down to Buena Park, California for Knott's Scary Farm. I can easily 
say this with confidence for both of us, Sammy and I's favorite haunt of all time. Um, and it's looking pretty good. We already got announcement dates as to what they're going to be running for their 2022 season. We're starting this year, September 22nd, ending on October 31st. And um, Sammy, I remember you and I had a little brief conversation about this. We we're saying that they're starting a little bit later than they have in the past. Usually it's uh, Orlando that starts Halloween Horror Nights first out there, usually in the beginning of, the, of September. Then the next week it's usually Halloween Horror Nights out here in California, and then it goes to Not Scary Farm, and then the last one usually is Haunted Hayride um, and Queen Mary and all that. So um, wh- what do you think? Wh- wh- what do, you, do you think this is uh, – why do you think they're doing this? Do you think they're just trying to less dates more? Or how do you what, – what, what do you think the plan is behind this? Yeah, I, I definitely think um, it's more bang for the buck in terms of Knott's End and uh, Cedar Fair in general. Just because if you have a shorter run, typically, um, as 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 most people know, the beginning of the season, you have less people. Um, so if you can get more people to come in a shorter period of time, I think that's going to be better for their operations. So that's probably the reason why um, is they just want to make it a shorter season, which is fine. I think six weeks is a a great time um, to have. And I mean, it's only one weekend cut off. So I know that both Tony and I are really excited. I've already gotten the time off work, ready to go. Um, And I know that Tony obviously now working a day shift he's going to you know be able to go to so i think that's going to be super exciting we'll definitely be there march 22nd so we look forward to seeing you all not there. march 22nd uh, september 22nd all right, so i don't know why i said march i'm sorry in march <laughs> yeah yeah i'm just you know you know my mind's not and <laughs> super he's very on um, he, you know he's very lost for words today because he found out tom brady's coming back for another season with the buccaneers Yes, definitely. Just announced within the last hour. So super excited for that. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so super dialed in March 20. Uh, damn, why do I keep saying March? <laughs> September 22nd. We'll be out there. Excited to see. Um, and I think, Tony, you said that you got some uh, breaking news. Breaking news. As of today, March Madness, our friend, uh, a longtime friend that, you know, follows us on streams and stuff. Um friends with everyone that we're friends with uh her name's nick knack uh she actually posted a picture which i i actually screenshotted for this video purpose um while she was on the train we got a glimpse and a look at the facade of mesmer it's looking like and we already knew this you know from the start when knots usually does mazes they stay for a few years but it's being confirmed that mesmer will be returning for the 2022 season the facade is still up the location is going to be the same right behind accelerator I'm very excited for this. I I was a very big fan of this maze. I think it's currently my favorite maze at the event thus far. Um, and I think they did for, for you know, having a year off of the pandemic and everything and coming back with a beautiful maze and a beautiful scare zone that they did. Um, I think they did a really good job with both of these. And to see that Mesmer is returning has me excited because I, I, I have to get my Mesmer fix, man. I have to go through it again. Um, it, it's easily... I always tell people, so, so the guy who created this maze must have been on acid or something because there is a lot of freaking like trippy things in this maze where you're just kind of like, what the hell? Like, who thought of this? You know, so this maze is is was a great maze, in my opinion, and I can't wait to go back through it. And I'm glad to see that it's still up. It's going to be returning for the 2022 season. Um, so thank you, Nick Knack, for that photo. But uh, Sammy uh, Mesmer debuted last year. What do you think of it returning this year? Yeah, I'm super excited because typically when you get uh, a maze at knots, it continues to improve and really just really finds its voice as, as the time progresses. So I'm excited to see what the voice of 2022 Mesmer is going to look like. Definitely agree. It was a, a very um, psychological thriller of a maze. It wasn't really scary, but there was definitely a lot of just playing with your mind, which was super cool. I really was a fan of the maze as soon as it got announced um, with the little teaser clip they had given us um, back in August of 2021. Um, So I'm excited to see what it grows into. Um, And even if they didn't change a scene, um, I think obviously last year there might've been some difficulties as we were still dealing with the old Pandy, um, um, you know, getting as many monsters as you can in that maze so i'm excited to see what that's going to look like um as we have more monsters to fill that maze because i definitely think 
it wasn't like I said the scariest maze I've been through, but I definitely think it has the potential to continue to grow and become more and more intense. Um, and you know, with that legacy of like Shadowlands previously occupying it, that was a maze I really enjoyed just for the uh, theatrics of it. And I think Mesmer continues in those theatrics. So I'm super excited to see what 2022 Mesmer is going to look like. Um, and with the new talent in there and what it's going to feel like in the void, you know, it's going to be same maze, but just have a different vibe. Exactly. No, hands down. And I'm just excited to see it again. I mean, there's, there's always something, I was always seeing something new when I went inside of it and um, just blown away by uh, what it looked. They they utilized every space. Even like I, I know a, an ongoing joke with Sammy and I is HHN. You know they have a lot of black walls, but in this one the black walls they did use utilize them the best that they can. I mean they would put even like little scenery or something that would tie into like the next room or something. So it was really good to see that. It was a lot of fun to go through it, and um, I can't wait to see what else we get this year. Obviously we know last year we lost Paranormal. Um, that was the farewell. Uh, tour for that. I think that was the only maze that left last year, right? Was it Paranormal? Yeah, the only one that was announced as leaving last year was Paranormal. So we're, we, we're going to be expecting a, a new maze announcement for that um, hopefully later on down the season for this year. So we're excited to see what gets replaced with Paranormal. Obviously, Sammy and I both very much loved Paranormal. Uh, fantastic maze. Great effects. Way ahead of its time. I mean, that maze did a good, what, solid like six years, I think, right? Yeah, I really was hoping that we were going to get the lights out paranormal. I know that we've been advocating for that for a, a while, especially right. once it announced that it was its last year. We were like, man, we really wanted a lights out paranormal. Second was we want guns and dark entities, but I don't think we're going to get either of those. But if we did and they announced that they're doing lights out paranormal, I will absolutely lose it. Yeah, I'm gonna be I think so it, excited. I mean, the maze is already scary enough as it is, and to add the lights out treatment to it, like much like how they did with Trick or Treat, um, I think it would make it even scarier because you're going through this abandoned, um, you know, asylum, and they could still do the pre-show regular and everything. It's just when the when the switch hits, maybe that's when the lights go out. You kind of change that whole thing of now you're in the dark, now you got to go through this in the dark, and they give you the flashlight, and the flashlight activates as you enter the maze after that pre-show. So um, it, it could be a good thing, but uh, whatever comes to Paranormal, I'm pretty sure Sammy and I will geek out and enjoy it because I, I could speak for the both of us that when we go through these mazes, even if they're bad or not, we still find a way to enjoy them, and we still um, – we still find aspects of things that we like in each maze. Uh, knots for us just never disappoints as far as scare zones and mazes go. Even shows. I mean, we you know we lost the hanging, but like last year we still had puppet up. And you know, Sammy and I love improv. We love puppet up. So you know, we were still satisfied of what we got. And um, there's always there's always things for us to do in the park. And whether one night we just feel like chilling in the scare zones, one night we just feel like hitting different mazes and then chilling in the scare zones. Like we we always have something to do in that park every weekend that we would go. So. I'm looking forward to that. The last bit of haunt news I want to talk about, something we touched a little bit about on uh, our Midsummer Scream video, is the fact that we did get confirmation that Los Angeles Haunted Hayride is doing a panel at Midsummer Scream 2022. Uh, usually means that they might be announcing new projects uh, for the event to improve on it, to improve on the storyline of um, Midnight Falls. Nothing guaranteed yet. It's just kind of speculation on our end right now. Um, I, I would assume that maybe they'll announce like a new maze or something or a new experience, a new show, a new... Uh, addition to the storyline obviously last year they uh, added that monty revolta is going to be the overall mayor of midnight falls which you know sammy and i love monty uh guy puts on hilarious shows and stuff and to see him be the mayor of midnight falls i couldn't have asked for more um we got a new location last year for the haunted hayride a little much bigger location in my opinion more spread out and whatnot um and you know last year's maze the uh, uh what was it um what was the the maze? It was a uh, something. Oh, uh, Dead End Diner. Dead End Diner. There you go. Uh, new maze last year, which was pretty good. Um, it, it had a lot of uh, good aspects to it, and a lot of throwbacks to old mazes that they reused some props and stuff, which I love seeing. Um, so I'm excited to see if they release any new mazes. If they're going to release any updates to the storyline. Uh, what's next for Haunted Hayride? We don't know until that panel. But Sammy, uh, last thing on the agenda, obviously with the Haunted Hayride. Uh, what do you? hoping they announce or what are you hoping to see from this panel at midsummer scream yeah i definitely think that i'm excited to see the full potential of the event and i'm hoping that they can continue to grow into that i know that unfortunately last year i went at a time where they just didn't have all of the staffing that 
was absolutely necessary for that. So I'm excited to see that. Hopefully, once again, that we're out of the pandemic. Hopefully, it doesn't flag our video. Um, that uh, they uh, go in and film more of it and have more uh, scare actors throughout. Um, just because I, I feel like it had so much potential last year, but because uh, they were just dealing with some staffing issues, it definitely didn't live up to the potential it could have. Um, so I'm excited to see that. I'm really hoping that they can continue to improve on like Dead and Diner. Because uh, I definitely think it has some great potential, especially if you have monsters throughout and kind of trapping you in areas like they had presented at Mids or Awaken the Spirits last year. Um, I'm excited to see if they're able to accomplish that because that will be super epic because I definitely think when they pres presented it, it had a lot of potential. But once again, due to staffing until it, staffing issues, it didn't get to meet up to that. Um, I'm excited to see Midnight Mortuary again because that maze was light years above the rest of them last year yeah um you know I, I enjoyed that maze uh best scare i think i got was the curtain that caught, caught on my face but that's neither here nor there mm -hmm. <laughs> um uh and i'm just excited the hayride is always a good time um and i i'm excited to see once again that we're out of hopefully out of this whole pandemic thing um to have more character interactions i think that, that was a little bit limited this previous year just because everyone wanted to you know, uh, be within, you know, create good space between people um, for good reason. Uh, so I'm excited to see if, you know, come October, come September, that they're able to have more scare actors, have more interactions and more storytelling. Because I think that's what we made us fall in love with the event in 2019, was just getting to learn the backstories of these characters, getting to to play with the characters and really just get immersed in the world. Um, so I'm excited to see what kind of more immersion they can create as well as just to see the, the full potential. Because I know that, like Tony, you had told me previously that when you had gone to the event at the beginning of the season, it was a really good event. It was. Yeah, and um, I think it was just, you know, with the pandemic last year, I know there was a lot of people already not working because they were just, you know, a little nervous about the pandemic, which is completely understandable. Um, you know, a lot of people just taking that necessary precautions, especially if they have people that are that live with them that are high risk or, you know, a lot of things that can trigger, you know, the the the, the Corona 19 virus, um, COVID-19, Corona 19. Why did I say Corona 19? Uh, corona uh, and Lyme. The COVID-19 virus, you know, and a lot of people were just being very careful of what they did and where they went and stuff. So I completely understand last season, you know, people still trying to ease into bigger crowds and, and even the, the, the monsters themselves and the staff that have to work around those crowds. Um, I, I completely understand. So hopefully this year, maybe people's mind are a little bit more at ease because, you know, a lot of the numbers are going down and whatnot. So we could see a little bit more staffing. But yeah, in the be very beginning of the year, we had a, f a pretty full staff. It was a lot of fun. Um, what was cool is, you know, we went a couple times. I went a couple times this year and uh, I got to see a lot of progression from the hayride itself to um, thing. But the only did the only sucky part I do remember was um, as I went more and more, you just tell that the staff was getting less and less. So yeah. Um, I'm excited to see what... I blame Mooch. What... <laughs> I blame Mooch. He go, knows where he's got to be. Go back to Haunted Hayride. Um, if you know, you know. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to, you know, it's going to be a good time this year. We have a lot more news probably coming out later this year, so stay tuned. This is going to be your one stop for all things horror and haunt news for uh, the 2022 season. Uh, so we're excited to be sharing that news with you. When we get more uh, news out there, we will definitely make a video for you guys to explain and break down and give our thoughts. So uh, with all that being said... Uh, I'm Anthony from the Knights of Horror. That's Sammy from the Knights of Horror. We are the Knights of Horror. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for another video.